Well, here's one of my bedroom windows with the screen removed because mosquitoes were coming in because the spline was loose, the net was, uh, what was it? Ripped, it was ripped. So I bought a roll of this stuff charcoal gray. I wanted black, but they didn't have it. Now I laid my screen on top of it. Now here's the tricky part. The smallest spline that Home Depot has is 1.125. That's too big. This spline, for which I have no idea what number it is, is eeny weeny teeny. Let's see if I can show it to you. That's smaller than the smallest one that Home Depot sells. So I'm going to try to reuse a 23 year old spline in hopes of thwarting mosquito entry. Wish me luck. Oh, and did I mention I'm at the Home Depot parking lot and it seemed to me one of their carts would make a reasonably good, reasonably clean, flat surface for this project. After cutting the screen that I need, the next step is to carefully, carefully is the operative word, carefully remove the spline. And I find that by lifting the old screen, it pulls the spline out safely. Next step, chase away the mosquitoes that are trying to eat me while I do this. But really, the next step is to lay the screen on top of the frame and leave excess all the way around. I probably have too much excess, but rather too much than too little. Then you take your handy dandy tool, ta-da! Put it in the groove and carefully, carefully put the spline in there. You want to be careful because you don't want this to come off and cut your screen. And you also don't want to stretch your spline, especially when it's 23 years old. Okay, here we go. I'm going to carry on. Now, even though I'm trying really hard not to stretch it, you can see that's where the corner was here, but now it's on the side. I guess when you push it with this installation tool, it's going to stretch no matter what you do. Now on this last side, you want to pull just a little bit, not too much, because uh, it's you need some a little teeny bit of slack, because when this goes in the groove, it pulls the screen this way. But you want to have it a little bit snug so you don't end up with big waves on your screen. Here we go. Okay, now this is why you leave excess all the way around because it shifts while you're working on it. And look at what I've got left here on this last side. It's just going to be enough or I don't have to trim part of it. Yikes. Close call. And I had excess. Hmm. Be forewarned. I have this much spline left over. This skinny little piece. And now it's time to take the scissors and trim the excess. 
And there's my finished product. My screen is done. I have to go inside and open that window so I can snap this screen in place. And there's my little puppy. Hello puppy, you can't come out this window. <laughs> Job well done. Then I'm gonna treat the screen with this permethrin insect repellent in hopes that that helps make the mosquitoes not so interested in my screen. Okay, the screen is installed. And all the little gaps are filled up with black Gorilla Tape because the actual frame of the screen didn't fit the frame of the window. And then when I compared the one I had just done to the screen on the other side, I saw that the holes are bigger on this screen. So learn from my mistake and Home Depot only sells one size gauge, whatever you call it. In the future I will look around and see what I can find because the four feet that I bought for the back window at a hardware store actually has a finer mesh. So, seven bucks, seven fifty out the window because I don't think I'm gonna like this small mesh, I mean this bigger mesh. Yes, it will let more air through, that's good, but I think it will let the little mosquitoes through, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, it looks nice. I did it. I got the job done. I just never thought about the size of the mesh. So if you're going to do this job, you might want to shop around. Unless it doesn't matter and you only have big bugs. <laughs> I seem to be in places where there's little bugs. In fact, I'm going to have to make some no -see -em screens at some point and just Velcro them over these, because they, when I lived on a sailboat, I made no see -em screens for all of the ports, but boy, I mean, yeah, it kept the no see -ems out, but there was not a hint of a breeze that was gonna get through that screen. So that's one thing to consider with the size of the holes, the placement, how much wind do you want? versus which kind of bugs live where you are going to go. <laughs> anyway, job's done. Bye-bye.